books had been introduced to me by my elders. I was mostly interested in reading scriptures. Being a spiritually inclined person, I was drawn towards these scriptural books. After my initiation in Ramakrishna Martin Mission, I gradually got interested in Ramakrishna Vivekananda literature. But I entered the world of Ramakrishna Vivekananda literature through the books of the Holy Mother. Books on Ramakrishna Vivekananda literature interest me the most nowadays. <laughs> Namaskar, welcome to my musings. Today my topic of musing is books and me. This episode is dedicated to all the book lovers, whoever is viewing my channel. Because I am also a book lover like them. Right from my childhood, I have been very interested in reading books and I think books had been the sole companions of a habitual loner like me. From my childhood onwards, I used to read a lot of books and I had been exposed to the world of books by my parents who were also avid readers. Even before my birth, my parents had collected for me a whole bookshelf for boys and girls and Encyclopedia Britannica for me to read. Very thoughtful of them, which I finished reading as a child. And this is still in my collection in my library. I used to read a variety of books, but I was mostly interested in reading scriptures because the stories of Ramayana, Mahabharata, Puranas used to intrigue me very much and I used to be enthralled by the myriad stories, the interesting anecdotes from these scriptures. I was fascinated by the stories of Mahabharata and Ramayana also used to draw my interest. I was fascinated by the characters and I think being a spiritually inclined person, I was drawn towards these scriptural books from my childhood. As the pressure of studies built up, I gradually found less time to read these books of my interest and had to concentrate more on my academics along with my music which I had learned through proper training and while sitting for these music exams I had to go through a number of music books as well. So my knowledge of music also along with practical training got enriched theoretically by reading a number of music books. And I passed Sangeet Visharad at the age of 14. After that, reading music books also took a back seat along with reading scriptures and other story books. I concentrated fully on academics and when I left home and went to a hostel to continue my studies in engineering, I fully had to devote my time only in academic engineering studies. So storybooks, one or two, sometimes I used to read 
but access to these story books was also very limited those days i used to concentrate fully on my academics only and then time passed gradually but after my marriage i again got lots of time to devote to my reading books i used to collect books from wherever i got because now that i was free and i was not working anywhere after my marriage so i got lots of time to devote to my musical studies also i revived my music study from where i had left and continued further like post graduate level of studies in music and uh, i read a lot of music books also and furnished my knowledge in music through these books and i read scriptures also whenever i got an access to those after my initiation in ramakrishna mathan mission in the year 2007 i gradually got interested in ramakrishna vivekananda literature but i entered the world of ramakrishna vivekananda literature through the books of the holy mother being a woman and a homemaker i was more attracted to the holy mother's personality and i started reading her books only the books on the holy mother mainly because i could draw lots of inspiration from her books and could relate to the books on holy mother being a woman myself gradually i started reading books on sri ramakrishna the gospel of sri ramakrishna was gifted to me by my father and uh, during my initiation only and uh, i gradually started reading the gospel of sri ramakrishna and also sri sri ramakrishna lila prasanga by swami saradananda ji and uh, i started reading sri ramakrishna puthi and many other books on sri ramakrishna and gradually after reading the holy mother and sri ramakrishna i entered into the world of swami vivekananda's literature and after reading swami vivekananda's works i was very deeply touched by the book lectures from colombo to almora which are really very fasc- fascinating for a devotee like me and i am really enthralled and fascinated by swami ji's great ideas by reading the book lectures from colombo to almora and interestingly the first book ever gifted to me it was on my 5th birthday by my aunt the book was a bengali book on swami vivekananda and its name i remember was bireshwar vivekananda so books had been introduced to me by my elders and i have been introduced to the world of books by them only i am indebted to all my elders who introduced me to this wonderful world of books which are till date my greatest companion and the books on ramakrishna vivekananda literature interest me the most nowadays and i am an avid reader of ramakrishna vivekananda literature and i don't find any interest anymore in any other sort of book right now all throughout the day i keep reading books of ramakrishna vivekananda literature and try to assimilate the ideas which are incorporated in these books try to assimilate and use the great messages conveyed to us through these books and i am so full of deep respect for ramakrishna vivekananda literature that 
I don't find interest in any other type of book nowadays and I read and reread these books time and again. I am also a subscriber of the religious magazine of Udbodhan, which was the first Bengali spiritual magazine initiated by none other than Swami Vivekananda himself. And I also regularly read the English magazines of Ramakrishna Math and Mission, Prabuddha Bharat and Vedanta Kesari. And this is how my life has been shaped by Ramakrishna Vivekananda literature. So this is all about me and my soul companion, books. I hope book lovers amidst you will connect with me and I will keep sharing excerpts from the books I read and also the ideas which I can assimilate from these books with you all through my musings. Thank you, happy reading and blissful watching of my musings. Hari Om Tat Sat, Sri Ramakrishna Atanamastik.